What's going on YouTube? My name is FG3000. I'm back in the place to be and welcome to Grimm's Notes. This is a brand new hero collector brought to you by the legendary developing house Square Enix. So let's jump into this game and see what it's all about, shall we? Now, you know what I always say when I look at hero collectors? A uh, hero collector is only as fun as the heroes that you can collect. So let's take a look at those first, shall we? Um, so right now they have a themed banner. Now this themed banner is all about music, which I, I actually kind of appreciate. So let's give you a taste of what the heroes look like. Um, have you, oh man, this reminds me of a Eternal Sonata, which was a fantastic RPG. Um, but you also have Mozart here, Marie Antoinette. So you can kind of see that these uh, characters in this banner at least um, are kind of focused on music. So let's, uh, let's actually just use our gems here for a second. Throw our gems in there. Let's see if we can get Marie Antoinette or somebody like that. That'd be kind of awesome. Got a three star. Who is this? Um, Kareem, I guess. And then I also, since that is a duplicate, I got a poem fragment of transcendence. I wonder if that's kind of like a currency that you can use to uh, summon uh, specific characters after you've gotten so many dupes. Hopefully it's a currency that you can use to buy a specific character if you would like. Um, Adet. I don't know what that is. Okay, you also get experience points when you summon, which is different. Let's do one more, just to see what we can get here. Oh, that one, ah, that was, I felt, oh, <laughs> you tricked me, Jim Hawkins. So you can kind of see they've kind of gone the fake grand order approach when it comes to heroes. So that is that. So let's jump into combat so we can show you what this game has to offer here. So we'll go over to quest. Now it's set up like your standard hero collector. You kind of go down here and you three star the stages. Nothing you haven't seen before. So we'll go over here to this story here. Now this game has a lot of story and some really great artwork. So if you're in, if you're looking for a game that has story, um, this is definitely a game that uh, should be on your radar. Now there is like a there's like a 1.5 gig uh, additional download that you can download optional. But it doesn't really improve, well maybe the load times are just really bad if you don't have it, but I thought the load times would be super quick after downloading like 1.5 gigs. But anyway, here we are in combat. As you can see, the combat takes place on three planes here. Um, so as you can see, every character and every enemy is on a very specific plane. You gotta be on the same plane to attack enemies, as you can see. And the whole gist behind the combat is trying to maximize back damage. So you can kind of use these planes as your advantage to get behind an enemy and then hit them in the back, which will allow you to do more damage and avoid damage. So that's pretty much what combat is in a nutshell. We'll do a couple more stages here. Oh, I didn't see, I didn't use my ultimate because I was talking and bouncing around. <laughs> so we're actually gonna go back to that stage here. Got some gems, I don't wanna follow you. Thanks, but no thanks. So let's go back to the stage here. But yeah, I just thought, you know, after a 1.5 gig additional download, the load times would just be like super snappy. I mean, they're not like obnoxiously long, but I just thought they'd be faster after doing that. Maybe it's all the voiceover and the artwork. So also what you can do, I'm actually going to build up my ultimate to make sure I get that uh, three star. Let's ultimate nobody. <laughs> oh, it gotcha. But that's pretty much what combat's all about. And then there's also an auto play as well. So you can just keep it on auto and they will um, do basic combat, but they won't really try to maximize the back damage. And you, you still need to activate your uh, ultimates. So all, all auto is is just basic attack damage without trying to get behind the enemy and things like that. So that is that. So let's do one more combat uh, stage so you can see a little bit more. Because there is one more aspect of combat that I haven't shown in the first two. Just to grab a random friend, don't care. And here we go. All right, so as you can see, I have a party, which is these members up here, and then I also have a sub. So right here, I can switch out to my uh, my arrow caster girl here. Um, so it makes it a little bit easier. It's kind of a little, it's a little bit harder to do back damage with her, but you can do damage from afar, which once again prevents you from taking damage. So that's kind of how she works. And then of course she has an ultimate as well. <laughs> oh, I missed completely. I didn't, under, I didn't know. Uh, what that uh, was going to do, but now I know. Uh, but when they're kind of in front of me, it's better to just use the melee guy here. 
And there you go. It's very tappy. So you can't just like hold the screen and like attack an enemy. If you hold the screen, you just move around. You have to tap, tap, tappy, tap, tap, tappy on the enemy to actually attack. So I don't know how I feel about that. The combat doesn't really do much for me. It's not bad. It's like the combat's not bad, but it's not my favorite. Gotta be honest. So that is combat there. Let's go back out to the home screen. It's good. Of course, there's a story there. So go back to the home screen so I can show you what else this game has to offer. So right now they are running an event um, called uh, the Play Out Play Aloud Requiem. Um, so this is, like I said earlier, um, the theme right now is based off of music. So there, you might have an opportunity to get some a character event. Yeah, so you have an opportunity to get a character there if you complete that event. Um, there's also your basic evolution materials. Um, today's Friday, so I guess the uh, server time is a little different um, based off of where I am. Um, but these are your uh, what do you call these things? Your resource missions, your evolved material, so you can use these to evolve your characters and level them up. Pretty straightforward, nothing you haven't seen before. There's a co-op zone, which I have not gotten far enough to unlock. Um, there is your own personal town that you can uh, make, so you can kind of customize a town here, and you use these to create buildings, and those buildings help you um, uh, store things, as well as use, uh, it gives you a crafting, sta a crafting station that you use to upgrade and uh, refine your equipment. So that's basically how that works. And I'm sure there's more to it, but you know, like I said, I haven't played a ton of this game just yet. Um, looks like there's a costume shop. Let's take a look at this real quick. Uh, sure, let's look at her. Purple hair girl. Yeah, got it. Is there a chibi version? Ah, oh, let me see it. Oh no. <laughs> I was like, it, it, turns, it changes her chibi? Um, but there you go, there's, uh, there's costumes in the game as well, so. There you go. I want to see more of these games do costumes. I hate that uh, the developers rely so much on the gacha as opposed to trying to get revenue from different places like cosmetics and things like that. Um, there's also a newbie event going on right now. And once again, so we talked about the music themed. Now this is a little bit different. Cinderella, Red Riding, uh, Red Riding Hood, Dawn, and Aladdin. So um, very, very cool. Oh wait, that's, those are the zones. So Snow White, Let Bet the Beast, Cinderella, and Morgana, actually. A lot, lot of very cool um, themes here. <laughs> so if you're into that, like I said, it reminds me a lot of Fate Grand Order. Uh, so that's something that you're interested in uh, and you want to see a game that doesn't like Fate Grand Order but is not Fate Grand Order, maybe you check out Grimm's Notes. Um, and then, of course, there is an arena, um, which is pretty straightforward, something that we've seen a lot of these games. So nothing to really speak of there. Um, but that'll pretty much do it for... Uh, for Grimm's Notes, this is another feature here called Hero World, um, which is story-based. This rem I bet this is very similar to uh, Valkyrie Connect, where certain heroes have a story that you can go and get more rewards for, but I'm just guessing. Um, but that's Grimm's Notes. Um, like I said, this game is brought to you by Square Enix, so this game should be supported pretty well if you want to jump into it. Um, when I took a look at it on the mobile store today, it was about 100,000 downloads so far, um, so that's pretty good for a game that just came out. So um yeah jump in here i have not seen like a guild system but i wouldn't be surprised that it's in here somewhere or on the future um in the future to be added to the game but there is co-op so that's that so that will do it i think we're done here once again my name is fg3000 this is grim's notes Let's change take, take the camera out a little bit so if you can get a little bit bigger view of the battlefield pretty pretty cool like the artwork is great i'm just not a big fan of the combat but even that's not bad. It's just a preference. Just a preference. So that will do it. Once again, guys, I'm FG3000. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you guys next video. Later.